Hi guys, welcome back to Queen Variety's channel. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a perfect homemade bread without oven. This video is highly requested by some of you who have watched my agege bread recipe. You requested that I should make a non-oven recipe. And so today, I will show you how to achieve this particular outcome without any addition of eggs. No mixer, so we'll be making it entirely with our hands. Guys, this bread is so soft, super buttery, and absolutely and incredibly delicious. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever i upload any video kindly share this video with your friends loved ones or anybody you want to share it on my wet surface are the basic ingredients needed for this low oven in this bowl here i have about um, three cups of bread flour you can also use them um, all-purpose flour as substitute which is equivalent to 580 grams of um, bread flour 50 grams of um, dry yeast this is equivalent to one tablespoon of yeast okay so many of you get scared when i mention 50 grams because all measurement is not the same. I'll show you the quantity that is contained here when I open it up. In here, I've got a one fourth cup of oil. I'll be using a combination of oil and butter. Here, I've got um, two tablespoons of um, butter. Also, I have a uh, one third cup of um, powdered milk and I'm using whole milk. Okay, yes, yeah, so you can use a um, low fat milk if you prefer. I'll be using a pinch of salt because um, the butter is salted. So I'll be using just a pinch of salt. If you're not using butter for this recipe, then it means you have to use a um, half teaspoon of salt. All right, so right here, I have a um, half cup of um, sugar. And finally, warm water, okay? Yes, so make sure your water is warm and not um, hot. Okay guys, so now I'll go ahead and introduce um, a new bowl. I'll place my sieve here. I have always told you how important it is to sift ingredients. I can't stress that enough in my recipes. Please make sure you sift ingredients. Very, very important for you to add your yeast very early because um, you don't want your yeast to have um, contact with salt. Salt can deactivate your yeast when they have direct contact with each other. You see that? That is exactly one tablespoon of yeast. What I'll do now is to combine everything to mix in appropriately before I introduce them the next ingredient. The mixing process is combined. I'm now going to pour in the sugar. In the same vein, I'll pour in the powdered milk. You can also use the liquid milk. That means instead of using the water, you should be using the liquid milk. in time i'm going to introduce the butter you can also use a melted butter if you prefer so it's going to get a little bit messy because i'll be using my hands to combine the ingredients make sure your hands are properly washed and cleaned okay friends at this point in time everything is perfectly mixed in yes we have a beautiful outcome now I'll go ahead and now introduce the salt. I'll then create a hole in the middle of the bowl. Now I'll pour in the oil. I'm using um, sunflower oil, so feel free to use any oil of the cup for the measurement, 60 ml of oil. I'll start adding the water step by step because we are about to form a bread dough. So because I want the outcome of the dough to be softer in nature, I'll add them um, 2 tablespoons of um, warm water. I'll sprinkle in a little bit of flour on the wet surface here and then place the dough. Remember to use your machine to knead it if you have the machine. But for this recipe, I'll be sticking with um, hand kneading. So we are going to knead this bread dough for exactly 10 to 12 minutes on this um, work surface.
at this point in time the dough is ready so we are going to proof the dough for exactly one hour this is what we are having right now when you press the dough you see it bouncing back at you that means um, the dough is ready so we are going to allow the dough to sit here for exactly one hour after one hour you will notice that the dough has doubled in size okay friends so now i will transfer the bowl to the warmest part of my kitchen okay so i'll put it in the oven my oven is not turned on put it on the oven there and allow it to sit for one hour so keep it any place in your kitchen on your surface anywhere just for one hour So at this point in time, I've brought out the bread dough. You can notice it has doubled in size. Just go forward and drop the dough on my work surface. All right. So with the help of my fingers, I'll just uh, punch down the dough. So what we're going to do now is to fold the dough to the size of your pan. So I'll use my hands and then flatten the dough a little bit. So when you fold in the dough, you use your edge of your hand here to seal it, okay? So use your hands and push in the edges of the dough and then tuck it in close. So just roll it a little bit on your work surface to the size of your own bread pan. At this point in time, I'm also going to foil the bread pan until the bread rises um, a little bit i'll just cover it up for only 15 minutes to 20 minutes to rise so i'll just keep it in a warm place and allow it to rise going over to the next stage i've gone ahead to place some quantity of salt inside my pot remember that what we are making is a no oven baked you can use some salt to bake it, you can as well use sand or you can even leave it um, empty and just um, place your pot um, on the heat. My cooker settings is between 0 to number 9 and I'm preheating this pot right now using the number 4 to number 5. Okay, so we'll let it heat for exactly 5 to 10 good minutes on medium heat. 5 to 10 minutes later guys, we are going over to the baking process. bread is raising you don't want the bread to rise and cover the whole entire pan because um, during the baking process the bread is still going to you know rise further all right you don't want your bread pan to sit at the base of the pot otherwise um, it's going to bend beneath it depending on the type of pot you are using you can use something like this iron like this and place inside it and then bake but today you notice i'm using a different type of pot the type of pot I'm using is in a circle form. So when I put the bread inside, it's not going to sit here. The edges of the pan here and here is going to, you know, help the bread not to sit at the base. So if you're not using a pot like this, then it means you have to use something like this and keep the bread on top of it so that the bread will not burn. You can even use some empty tin containers and place inside if you don't um, have um, this. Transfer the bread inside the pot and sit it here okay so now i'll go forward and cover the pot so make sure the pot is completely covered now we are going to start the baking process so at this stage you have to turn your heat from medium range to the very lowest or to low heat
okay guys at this stage i have about um, 10 to 15 minutes into the baking process you can see that the bread has um, completely risen <laughs> the bread is baking you know perfectly you notice that there's some kind of um, steam coming up at the surface of the pan so what you will be doing is to use your towel or your kitchen tissue paper to clean it up So if possible, make sure you're using a bigger pot than mine. I'm using what I have available here. Hello friends, you're all welcome back. So I have been baking for exactly 45 minutes to 50 good minutes. Guys, can you see what we are having here? My kitchen smells so good. It smells incredibly amazing. Look at the appearance of the bread. Just take a good look at what we are having here. Don't worry about this area. My pot, um, the cover of my pot pressed the bread down. You can see that um, poncho there. That's because of my pot. While the bread is still hot, what I'm going to do now is to brush the surface with some butter because um, I don't want the appearance to be hard. It's still soft, but sometimes when it gets cold, it can become um, harder. In time, we are going to slice through the bread. It's completely cooled down now. At least it's a little bit warm, not too too cold. I don't like my bread when it is too cold. Don't worry about the appearance. That's because of the butter that we rubbed them earlier on. It keeps the surface of the bread them. Okay, so now we are going to cut right into okay, the bread. Okay, my beautiful people, we have finally come to the end of today's recipe, guys. While you're cutting right into this bread, oh my god, it's so nice. When you take a bite of this bread, then hmm, it's so rich, so fulfilling, and so buttery. You won't even believe that this bread was baked without oven. Mm, it was so yummy. In fact, the family devoured this loaf of bread instantly. They were asking me, ah, mommy, why did you just make only one loaf of bread? <laughs> they said I should have made even more than one okay so i'll be making other ones um, later on but guys trust me when i say that this bread is so rich it is better than any bread that you buy in the shop it's homemade so you have the full opportunity to do whatever you want to do to your bread guys in my local way i open this bread like my aggregate bread in my bread that i yeah 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 pay this bread there god look at everything you know where you are that granite thank you so much for joining me in today's episode i really hope you have enjoyed today's recipe if you have don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel to get instant notifications whenever i upload any video please share this video with your friends loved ones until i come your way next time bye bye